Hello Cancer, this is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. I hope you had a beautiful, relaxing weekend. Um, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video or whether you're currently in contact with them or not first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you cancer universe please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer for cancer's highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for cancer in the life and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see what's popping. <clears throat> hmm. You feel very disappointed in someone yeah your soulmate you feel very disappointed in them you feel betrayed you feel let down emotionally yeah you are not happy you showing up here as reversed king of cups whether you male or female somebody is also hiding something to do from you is hiding something to do with money finances so something is hidden from you um on purpose by someone that has to do with money finances profit so be careful if you are trying to purchase something make sure you uh, read everything thoroughly um uh, if you doing any kind of investments research thoroughly um read the fine print before you put any signatures on it yeah you are being deceived, uh, something to do with money, whether it's at your job, business, whatever it is that has to do with money. Uh, you're tired of waiting for your soulmate to meet you halfway. Yeah. Whoever it is that's deceiving you will have to deal with karma because justice is showing up here after betrayal. So whoever um, it is that is betraying you, or lying to you or manipulating you or trying to deceive you in any way will have to face karma repercussions for the actions you see justice being served on your behalf through karma yeah and it was please show us what's coming up yeah somebody's purposely hiding something from you that has to do with money universe please show us hmm you love your soulmate but you feel they're not deserving of your love because they're not returning that love to you. You don't feel loved by this person that you're letting go of. You don't feel appreciated by your soulmate. Yeah, you don't feel loved. Mm -hmm. If you felt loved, you would be with them, right? Yeah. You know, please show us. You don't want to wait anymore. You don't want to put any more work into it if they're not going to meet you halfway. You've been very patient with that person. Yeah. You've been very patient with them and you saying to yourself, you had enough. You're not going to put your life on hold. Wait for them. Universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer in their life and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, you see the cups are empty. You don't feel loved. You don't feel appreciated. <clears throat> You're going to have to make some kind of a decision that has to do with money. So research thoroughly make sure that you understand uh all the pros and cons before you make that decision yeah you see because if you don't research thoroughly if you don't investigate you're gonna lose financially yeah financial losses will happen for you if you don't research thoroughly investigate educate yourself <clears throat> The person loves you that you're letting go of. 
but they are so unbalanced. They are in some kind of karmic connection with somebody else that they're not happy in. You see this? So even though they are with somebody else, I can't even call it a real relationship, more like a karmic toxic connection that they're not happy in. They have some kind of karma to resolve with that person. They're not happy. Yeah. So they love you. They don't love that person. Yeah. They have some kind of heavy duty karma to resolve with that individual. Universe, please show us <clears throat> what's coming up for cancer and how is cancer currently doing on their summit journey? You've been waiting on communication from your soulmate. Yeah, this is you waiting on communication. You're not reaching out to them. You don't want to chase them. Yeah, so, yeah. this has to do with money, your job or business. Something is hidden from you on purpose. Yeah, by either your employers, whoever. That has to do with money. Your job is now clearly showing up here. So I don't know, for some of you, it may mean that if you work for somebody that they may be planning layoffs or are not paying you enough, whatever it is, it's being hidden from you on purpose and you need to investigate. Yeah. <clears throat> so for some of you, it's at your job. Definitely loss of money if you don't pay attention. Yeah. If you don't maneuver correctly, you're going to lose some kind of uh, money, yeah, like financial losses are showing up here. <clears throat> wow, new soulmates are popping up here for you. Past life connections with the new soulmate, Six of Cups. Remember, Cancer, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with, whether you want to give that person another chance or a new person a chance, or if you want to be alone. That's going to be up to you, yeah. You don't want to wait for them any longer. You don't want to babysit a relationship. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer and how is cancer currently doing on their summit journey? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. You feel devastated. You feel used. You feel betrayed by your soulmate. You feel heartbroken, but you hide it well. It's like you not allowing yourself to feel all of these emotions. <clears throat> yeah, you want to move on with your life. Death, meaning ending uh, of something and being reborn, um, having new beginnings. You've been through a lot of betrayal, heartbreak in your life. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you've been through a lot. Let me see what's going on with that soulmate you're letting go of, at least for now. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer that cancer is letting go of. And how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time? Especially emotionally. What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer? And how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time? Especially emotionally. Very interesting. Oh, this person is not happy with their life, the life they built for themselves. They feel very unhappy. They feel empty, emotionally unfulfilled. So there are serious communication problems between you and this soulmate. Uh, for most of you, you're silent together. Uh, some of you may be communicated here, maybe communicating here and there, but nothing specific. Yeah, so... There is really a huge problem with communication between you two. A lot of misunderstandings. This person doesn't want to lose you. They feel very connected with you emotionally and spiritually. They have a lot of issues. A lot of issues. Look at this mess over here. Ten of swords, ten of wands. This person has a lot that they need to address, which they are ignoring. They're not working on the problems. Yeah. It's like they're trying to avoid looking at the issues they need to look at, um, hoping that it's going to resolve itself. It's not. This person needs to attend to the issues, to resolve them, to learn lessons from them. Yeah, they have a lot that they've been ignoring for a long time. Yeah, they want to clear the air with you, but they poor communicators, poor listeners, they don't communicate with you effectively because the sword is pointing down. But they want to clear the air with you, but... 
to clear the air with you, they need to learn how to communicate effectively, openly, how to be a good listener, because a good communicator is also a good listener, right? Yeah. They know. They can't just sit there waiting for things to happen on its own, waiting for you to take action. They need to take action. They need to do something. They're trying to figure out how to go about it correctly. <clears throat> this person likes to stall things. Yeah. Their behavior is showing up as very wishy-washy. Yeah, they, they don't know how to be direct. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer that cancer is letting go of. And how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, this is them waiting, 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 but not taking proper actions. Yeah, they're not taking actions. You see this? They feel stuck in the current situation. They're not stuck. They just feel they are stuck because they're not taking proper actions to move on with their life in the right direction. They don't want to lose you. You are very important to this person. They're very concerned that you're going to be with somebody else. Somebody else is showing up here for you as king of wands. I love it. Yeah, someone that you know from past lifetimes. Hmm. This person is worried that you're going to move on, um, that you're not going to wait for them. You should never wait for anyone. You should never put your life on hold for anyone. You have to be fair to yourself. Yeah, you can't do that to yourself. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer that cancer is letting go of? Yeah, they're waiting patiently for this communication to happen. But instead of waiting, they need to take action. Yeah, so you see, two of ones is showing up twice. This person knows they're going to have to make a decision. <clears throat> they're very slow to action. They like to stall things, which is not good. That's not a good sign. Yeah. For any type of relationship. Oh, they in love. So this person is deeply in love with you. That wants to come back to you. That is so slow to action. But they don't make you feel loved. Yeah, you, you don't feel appreciated. You feel quite the opposite of that. Wow, your energy is beautiful, Cancer. Queen of Wands. Taking your power back. Moving on with your life. Recognizing your worth. Not putting your life on hold anymore. Your energy, by the way, matches the energy of the new soulmate. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. How beautiful is that? Hmm. However, the person you're letting go of loves you deeply. Yeah, but they need to match those feelings with their behavior to be trustworthy, to be dependable, grounded, consistent in your life. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Universe, please show us. They're draining me with that energy in this reading. Mm -mm -mm. Universe, please show us. Hmm. Their energy is very stagnant. Yeah. They're not proactive in their life. They're very wishy-washy in behavior. Universe, please show us. But they're used to this kind of behavior. Yeah, they're used to it. It's a pattern for them. It was please show us. So they love you deeply. They just don't prove themselves to you. It was please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer. Yeah, they want to be courageous enough to approach you. Yeah, they view you as, again, uh, queen of wands, whether you're male or female, someone powerful, taking your power back, moving on with your life. They're totally in love with you. Again, Queen of Wands, King of Cups. This person is totally in love with you. They want to know how you currently feel towards them. Whether you love them, miss them, despise them, hate them. They don't know. They feel that finding out in advance before they approach you would help them decide how to approach you correctly. So this person is used to wishy-washy behavior. They need to be brave. They need to be courageous. If they act wishy-washy, uh, you're going to be turned off by their behavior. Yeah. Universe, let's do the extended reading. So we're going to go into the extended reading. First, obviously, we're going to ask about the person that you're letting go of. 
Then we're going to ask about the new soulmate that popped up as Six of Cups and King of Wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate <clears throat> entering your life, the king of wands, six of cups, energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So cancer, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.